tell us about some of those incoming freshmen you got. Uh, well, right now, uh, Marissa Collins uh, from Houston, Texas, she uh, set her. Uh, she's just she's doing a great job running the offense, picking up on the things that that we're asking her to do. Uh, she was recruited by some big programs, and it shows with what she's bringing, you know, to the table right now. Uh, Jessica Nagy and Kyle Hartman will both be competing for the the second middle spot. Uh, they both bring some different things to the table, so uh, we feel like both of them will get a lot of playing time early, and we're going to see kind of which one can get an edge before conference starts. Uh, but we feel like both of them will get a lot of time this year. And, and Carly Geisler, um, because of a, a knee injury uh, to Lindsey Barron at this moment, is going to be our second outside hitter. Uh, and she's uh, doing a great job on the front row. Uh, we need to uh, work with her a little bit on some passing and some defense type things. But she's, she's um, learning quickly and you know we feel like like those four uh, probably have the best chance to get on the floor early uh, Beth Rogers has been passing very well she's behind Kristen Curl libero of the year and Chloe Evans who's been a four-year player for us you know she's uh, hasn't always started but she's been in the rotation you know uh, consistently for the, the last three years but Beth's right there with them right now and that's that's very encouraging You've got a core of players that have been around. You've got Chloe Smith, Kristen Carroll, Jessica Hayes, who have all won individual conference awards, and then Chloe, who's in her fourth year. Uh, how have the returning players progressed from you know, what we saw at the end of last season? Um, you know, Chloe Smith knows that she's going to have to be a smarter player. Um, after you've played for three years, teams know and understand your tendencies, and so um, she's grown in that and understanding that she's going to have to mix in some different offensive shots. Hopefully her block can be better for us this year. Uh, she knows that that will need to be better uh, for her to have a chance to be an all-region type player. Kristen Curls, always a hard worker, you know, and, and a good floor leader. And um, some we know she's the best libero in the conference. She gets after it. She's you know, we expect her to have another big year. We expect her really to be libero of the year again. Uh, Jesse Hayes is going to push Chloe Smith in our minds to be MVP of the conference. Great jump server. Uh, seems to steady, have steadied out. This is the best preseason she's had so far. As far as consistency at the net, she's always been a good passer for us, always been effective on the defensive side. So to see her offensively, doing this well this early, early is very encouraging. And then of course, uh, Taylor uh, Hammonds is gonna have a bigger impact for us in the middle. Uh, we didn't need her a lot offensively last year. In our opinion, she was the best freshman in the conference, but when you're surrounded with the players that she was, she didn't get the sets uh, that a lot of the other players were getting. And um, we, we feel like she's gonna double her kill production this year and still keep a really high hitting percentage. Let's talk about the schedule for a minute. That's a, you know, on paper it looks like an absolutely brutal slate you guys have uh, before conference even gets here. Yeah, um, and it's all been by design. You know, each year it's gotten tougher and tougher and tougher and, you know, hopefully we have an over schedule this year. I don't know that you can do that with what we're trying to do with our program. We want to uh, use, a, use it as a measuring stick. And then when we get into conference, you know, none of the teams in the conference are gonna be as good as an Oklahoma, a Missouri, uh, LSU, TCU. Uh, you know, we're, we're playing a lot of good teams early. This is gonna test our freshmen. Uh, it's gonna test their confidence. We're gonna really see where they're at. Um, you know, and, and so we may not come into conference with the wins that we typically uh, done, but, um, you know, we, we feel like we're going to be more prepared uh, come not only conference time, but conference tournament and hopefully NCAA tournament. You know, we want to see one of these teams again when, when that rolls around. Oh,